Welcome back to Code and Gameology. Today, we'll be taking on Albie's 12. We won't do probably very well, but we'll at least have some problems. So for the Albie's 12 this time, we have some monsters and a low and a high tie and that some stuff. So I have Xiao, Kazuha, Bennett, and Xiang Ling in our team, and Hu Xing Zhong, Hu Xing Su Zhong. There are, there are some monsters that can't be sucked up, but with the high tie, low tie, or whatever, we start out, I'm pretty sure we start out with, I don't know, high tie, low tie? Anyway, there's a high tie and there's a low tie. The high tide will grant you a bunch of energy and the low tide will give you the low tide will give you like no energy completely. I don't really care about this. But I think there's a way to master skills and stuff. But I just attack all out attack, all out damage and stuff. There are some of these monsters, they attack with, um, power. They're powerful, but they're under, if you have any elemental reactions, you can do a lot to do to them. You can do, like, a ton of damage. The two energy states apparently give a lot of energy. Energy. Now for these guys, we'll just have to go all out on them and try to beat them in a single elemental burst. I know it's hard, but if you're possible and able to beat them, it's pretty hard, but if you have enough energy or you get locked in the attack in the elemental skill burst time and then you can basically have connecting elemental burst it's like this won't do okay right i managed to do that one now for pushing down side things become a bit more how do you say it? Complicated? So, as if everyone has hydro, and we put um, the moves, their moves. So, in the energy state, in the no energy state, you basically get no energy. So, yeah, but I'm just using Blue Tao because she gains, if she gains energy, she can basically heal. And do a lot of damage before she is low. These guys, that's the thing about these guys. They don't, they're invisible. The Mirror Maiden, the thing about the Mirror Maiden is that it teleports, but, yeah. I will have order. It teleports a lot, the Mirror Maiden, so, my thing about it is that we should try to beat it as soon as possible, unless the moving target is hard, is not hard. So I don't really like moving target. Because they, because who town doesn't want to run a lot. I mean, with her R2 that takes the energy. Stabilize. Okay, so it looks like that guy. But you don't really want to run with this um bell piece. So you basically do that guy. And then when that guy's done, he's she's probably like. Oh no, I'm unlucky. That person is probably like, I'm unlucky because I started my elemental growth and suddenly someone knocked me out of my elemental growth. 
But the mirror maiden is really hard. And this no, dumb guy keeps shooting attacks. Absorption test. Animal test 63 away. So it'll and the thing about these guys is that they try to squeeze you. Okay, seems like we're done. We got two stars. Which I would like say that it's not my best, but at least we got two stars. For floor 11, chamber two, we will be, um, we will be fighting this guy with these rhino thingies at the beginning. And apparently then it got lucky. Then it got lucky because I accidentally attacked in the right stage where there's a bunch of energy and yeah. Now for this one, we'll be trying to mix elements first. The first thing we want to do is use this move. And then let's see if Xiao can get us an elemental burst. But it counts me that Xiao doesn't have an elemental burst, and yeah. But now he does. Momentum. Momentum is pretty powerful if you, like, if you get, if you attack at the right speed and manage to attack quick enough, you can get the monsters. If you fight quick enough, then the monsters will have less time to attack you. Oh god. This is good. Over. I basically heal myself to like max HP. Uh -huh. No my sword. This guy is powerful, but when Point. he doesn't have an element, I accidentally did that. Point. When he doesn't have an element. We could try using elemental boost to see them, but he has his own element sometimes. Which is to like say crazy. When he has his own, he doesn't have his own element. If you apply it to him and he even has an element, so you apply the element to him and he tell gets um, elemental mastery, then Order it can gotcha. get pretty powerful. Hu Tao can get pretty powerful against this guy. But I gotta say, he's pretty powerful with an, when he attacks with an element. Like, powerful, powerful. Ring cutter. Because when he attacks with either an animal or ice, he can deal some damage. But at the beginning, when he doesn't have animal or ice, he's pretty weak. Now, when he's doing a move like this, he uses, a, he uses some elements. You can use you can use different moves to counter him, such as Zoe's shield or anyone's shield. Actually, can pretty much block all the damage. Stabilize. Rain outlines your fate. Now for for Sun Cross, she's basically, she's basically useless this round because Sun Cross is for the um, the problem of sucking up monsters. Also, the Swirl is pretty powerful. This battle is the thing about repetition, about using loops constantly because this guy has a lot of HP. So if you keep up all your, your damage, we can get at least two stars. That's nice. For floor 12, chamber three, we'll start up with a Ruin Hunter on round, in the first, in round one. So the first half with a Ruin Hunter and a few mechanics. So Shadow is pretty powerful on this one. So with all this extra energy, with all this energy, like, yeah. Into the wind. So with all this energy, it might be pretty hard. 
around is gonna be pretty hard. And I'm still gonna have to waste his evil conquering on just doing his normal attack. Because he can't use aerial attacks because that will pretty much awaken his bomb shooting mode. Which now with everyone in this place, in one place. With nature. Everyone in one place, um, Yao has to defeat it. These guys. But these guys are really hard to beat. Why? Because they are tough. Because also, they are new bosses. Well, monsters, I guess you could say. And they are pretty hard to beat. Off we go. And powerful. The birds come. The wind knows me. Everybody stand! Yeah. Evil conquering! Worthless! Worthless. And also, they, some of these guys have powerful defense powers. Well, some can chew from a distance. Now, conclusion zone team, we really don't really need much. Just kidding. For these guys, these wound hunters, all you do is poke them on the chest, on the leg, or whatever. And then put that damage This is order. But this loop falls into almost no, perfect synchronization because that this loop is very powerful. Now, let's attack our nearest opponent. Now, for this being the part of the monster, let's start off with destroying the Ruin Destroyer. Wow, that was a funny rhyme. Destroying the Ruin Destroyer. Pretty funny. I guess, I guess I'll have to be that zone thing. I, I have to beat the Ruin Destroyer at its own thing. Destroy him. So I'm basically attacking everything that gets in my path. Because eventually... Yeah, you'll have to attack them. So that's the thing I'm wondering about these monsters is that... They're in the Outbeast 2.0. And they're pretty powerful. Fushin zone damage is high, but either these guys HP are too high, or Fushin zone has been tough. Well, okay, we defeated it and got two. Stop. Okay, bye, and thank you for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. Bye.